Got the got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Welcome back to another vlog. So today we got some things going on, girl. We got some things going on. So first of all, I told y'all I wasn't gonna come back on here bummy, and I meant that. So I'm about to do my little um no makeup makeup look type of situation, which is really no makeup. It's my go-to every single time I do take a picture really or record a video. As y'all know, I don't really wear makeup that much. So this is just kind of my thing. So I'm gonna just set it up. So I'm going to just show y'all what it is. I know a lot of people be wondering my um, skincare routine and my no makeup makeup look or my makeup actual routine or whatever the case may be. And um, I didn't film that for yet. I didn't film that for y'all yet because I've been breaking out so bad lately. Like, I don't know what's going on exactly, but I've been having a lot of like discoloration. I've been popping pimples and then sometimes I get pimples like around my mouth. Well, not a lot because that looks crazy. But even with the one pimple I get on my lip, it's not flattering and it don't look cute. Of course, I went and popped one that I had on my lip and it was going the next day. I just put some Neosporin on it. I popped it, put Neosporin on it and it went away the next day. But when I do pop like the pimples on my cheeks, y'all, they scar up really bad and it turns my face red and so on and so forth. Anyway, so I just want to show y'all something real quick. Usually y'all don't get to see like the behind the scenes of this because my camera is usually on it. But this is the tripod that I use for when I'm in my car so like hold my phone or whatever the case may be. The reason I got this was because it was so sturdy and when I looked at the reviews, mind you, I had this for over three years at this point. So... When I first got this, you could put it on the outside of your car. Like, it's for, like, heavy-duty cameras, which is what I'm recording on right now. I have a DSLR Canon camera, which is the big camera, in other words. And um, I just needed something really sturdy because they say if you got a cheap tripod, then you're not going to get, you know, your camera going to be falling all over the place and so on and so forth. I'm going to talk about that. So, to do my... Um, to show y'all my look, I'm going to be installing this on my mirror. I got a mirror on my bathroom right now. And I can't show y'all too much. I don't got no joints. I mean, I don't got no pants. But yeah, I'm going to install it on my mirror. And then uh, I'm going to give y'all some looks. So let me just show y'all how to do it. This is the Delkin um, tripod. No, this is not promo or nothing like that. I just had it for a while when people always ask me. So I figured why not just tell y'all. So let me just turn this around for a second. All right. So what you're going to do is let me master my placement because I don't want it right in front of me because how am I going to see so I'm going to put it off to the side a little bit of course it has that material to where it sticks to anything but as y'all can see it has this like little press button it's so dusty oh my god and you're just going to press it it's so hard to do it with my hand <laughs> so you're just going to press it with your hands press the button move that flat to hold it I can't explain it but yeah I can show you better than I can tell you so you're just going to press it and lock it in just like that and it's gonna hold it's very sturdy like you don't want to pull on it if I'm pretty sure if I was to like take my whole body weight and like pull it the mirror would break like it's very very sturdy so that's what I'm gonna use to show y'all my little routine or whatever but yes if y'all want a nice good tripod tripod check out the Delkin as y'all can see I wore and tore this thing down girl like look at it it's all like cracked up and everything but anyways so let's get into the look so, um, first of all, it's mad loud in here, so I'm not even about to talk through this because y'all know how I hate the ventilation system. I always did and always will. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this setup to film my skincare routine as well. But I'm going to film like a, a regular YouTube version and a version I could post on like Instagram, like do some real TikTok stuff like that. So obviously, I'm going to have to turn it to the side because we want the best quality, of course. But um, I like this setup for as far as skin care stuff because I really don't really like my background now. I feel like it could have so much more and um, I'm still working on it. But as far as just skincare and bathroom stuff, I feel like this is very appropriate to do in here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Anyways, y'all, I look so pale. Like this needs like a, ugh, I don't know. I'm going to have to put some saturation on her because I'm looking very washed out. But anyways, let's get to this routine real quick.
So this is pretty much what it gives. Lashes, a little bit of brows. I did my brows a little funny today because I couldn't really see. I usually be up close and I ain't want to like put the mirror all up here because obviously y'all not going to be able to see. So I just kind of filled it in from afar so hopefully I don't look too crazy. Anyways, y'all, believe it or not, I do not wear 25 millimeter lashes anymore. It's just a lot for me. It's very dramatic and I used to be a 25 millimeter girl but now I'm a 20 millimeter girl. It's just better. It looks more natural and I like the volume when it's a little bit shorter and it kind of it also does apply to when i get lash extensions which i barely do because i feel like they always look so droopy on my eyes and i hate that so i just get shorter lashes but these 25 millimeter lashes that i got from the bottom lash extensions or something like that these are my favorite ones Marilyn, because they're very like let's get up close they're very flattering blabby flattering not too dramatic they don't do too much but they do just enough and it looks very very cute also y'all not gonna lie um i have to go to the apple store and i have to go to the gym still i'm very very behind schedule but i'm still gonna make it happen of course i have um a gym appointment i mean i have an appointment with the apple store because my fucking oh my god my laptop broke like it's not turning on at all and I have videos to edit so I'm like panicking right now so I made an appointment for 4 30 with the Apple store so it's 1 42 right now I'm about to eat something very light probably um some toast like two pieces of toast and a banana usually I either do that or two pieces of toast and eggs or uh oatmeal or something like that just something to fill me up in the morning um but today I'm feeling like two pieces of toast and banana like a little bit of water something like that so that's what i'm gonna go with now i did feel a little dumb doing my lips first before i ate and i know some of y'all like girl why are you doing all that for the gym and all that mind your business mind, mind your business that pays you there don't worry about me don't worry about me yes girl i just have to um i just figured i would just go full out and just show y'all my no makeup makeup look for every, literally everything i do because why not i don't care if a little piece of toast messed up that's why we got touch-ups there i goes so that's what that's for anyways um i'm about to go eat something real quick and we out to the gym also i do want to show y'all my thong wig not that it's really a, important or anything like that but um i just show y'all a little bit of a little bit since i'm showing y'all that today so yeah anyways so let me go eat real quick and get down to the nitty gritty all right y'all so i'm dressed why do I look so washed out? This is so annoying. Hopefully this is better, but I don't know what's going on, but it was just so light. Light, yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Anyways, y'all, this is my thong wig. So the hair, yeah, I'm pretty sure all of y'all know already, but if you know I'm telling you now, this hair itself is, I got it January 2020. So this is how it still looks to this day. The closure, don't get me wrong, tired child. She needs to come out. She needs to get replaced very bad. She's very old and she's very short. So, but this is just my throwing wig just to run errands or if I need to just do something real quick, then I'm going to put her on. So, I'm about to go to the gym. I have an install to do after. Like, I have to do a hair look or whatever the case may be. So, um, I'm going to just put this on for now just to, you know, exercise over to the Apple Store. And then we go like that. I don't really have to show you how to install it. There is a way to really like hook this up and make it look really good. Go outside and do so on and so forth. But I got past the point where I actually tried to make it look nice over the closure. Because as y'all can see in certain places it's balding. Like it's very, very old. Very, very old. But the hair is still great of course. Hair from me. Paris and your collection. Y'all already know how that goes. But yeah girl. Sometimes you gotta have a thorn wig. Every girl should have a thorn wig. Now I would... Um, take this off and put the wig one on camera but I would never play myself like that my braids look like a mini fro the girls who get it get it I'm not about to be doing that so one second okay so let's bring her down because she's giving very humpy dumpy right now like I said I don't wear this wig to look cute I really just wear it to put a hat over it but y'all should know how that goes already so I also already got dressed I hope I didn't get no hair on my rug. I hate doing my hair in the bathroom. Like, I swear to God, I hate doing my hair in the bathroom. I hate when I'm getting out the shower and it's like hair rolling my toes if I step on the rug. Oh my God, so annoying. But, am I the only person who doesn't care about mixing Adidas and um, Nike? 
Like I have on this Nike hat with my favorite Nike leggings. You should know already. So I got on my Nike hat, my Nike leggings. I'm about to put on my Yeezys, my Yeezy runners. And just throw on a sweater, I got my waist train on. This is my favorite waist train. I'm like, I don't care about the waist trainers that only sit at the waist. Because one of the worst things I ever did was after surgery, when I was started waist training, which is way too early, by the way, it, like, gave my, me a permanent line. I can't explain it. Like, from wearing elastic, which you shouldn't wear too early as well, and um, a waist trainer, it would, like, suck me in so much from the top that the bottom would kind of seep out. And it would just leave like an indent. So now I have a permanent indent, which makes it look super snatched in this area. But when I get bloated, only like the top is bloated. It looks so weird. So can't wait for my round two. But <laughs> um, yes, y'all. I don't really care about mixing it because it's really not that deep. Especially if I'm out the workout, girl, I do not care. Like, but anyways, yes, we look cute. We about to be off to the gym. I'm only staying for about an hour because I still got to start working on that girl wig. Um, and I would like to have it shipped out in time. So. It's 2.15 now. If I could just be back by 3.15, work on it. I got an appointment. Um, boom. Finish by 3.15. Come back upstairs. Do what I got to do. Um, and then I guess I can just come back upstairs. Um, and I'm not that far from my destination. So I could leave like 10 minutes prior to. If that much, 7 minutes prior to. It's really not that um, far from here. And I should be good. So. To the gym we go. This is my third day, y'all. I'm very consistent, whatever. <laughs> I'm getting it done. I'm very proud of myself. We keep doing it. Once again, I did not get up early enough. I was supposed to be awake early. It's not supposed to be 2 15 right now. It's supposed to be like 10. But whatever. At least we're doing it. Something is better than nothing. So, anyways. Alright, y'all. So, it is night time. Okay. So, last time we spoke, I had errands to run. You know, I was doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, it's been a lot going on as far as today and yesterday, so I do feel like I'm a little bit, um, it's been a lot going on, so I do feel like I'm a little backed up, but I got her. I got her. I wanted to do like a little unboxing, but I'm like, hmm, is it that serious? But it's that serious to me, but I don't think, you know, it's that serious. Whatever. Anyways, got my laptop. Um, if you don't know what happened, my other laptop, my laptop right here, it just won't turn on. I don't know what happened. Um, it did fall at a point in time, so that's what triggered it, but it still was working after that. Pretty fun, but randomly it would just stop working. I'm annoyed. So, one of the problems that y'all, um, I used to tell you that I was having with my laptop was that the storage, which is why I got an external hard drive, which if you have um, a MacBook Air Pro, whatever, with um, a small amount of gigs, you always want to get an external hard drive, especially if you save things on your computer or you need to save some things somewhere. I will always suggest to get an external hard drive. Now that I know how to use it now, it's very easy to use. But when people girl, when people used to tell me how to use it, I used to be like, speak English, please. Like, uh, So if y'all want me to show y'all how to use external hard drives, stuff like that, I'm not like super tech savvy, but I know a thing or two. So if y'all want to know, then I'll just um, put it in one of my videos just, you know, for y'all. But I got the MacBook Air, which I was opposed to because I wanted a MacBook Pro because I felt like it was better for like, you know, editing, media, like, you know, stuff like that. But um, I was told that the new MacBook Air is not only better than the Pro minus the touchscreen um, little pad thing right there. Um, it has better RAM, which I just learned what that was today. No, like I said, I'm not a tech person. Just does it work? Can I edit? Does it got a memory? That was my thing. Um, I did get 16 gigs instead of 8. And it has a new M2 chip. I know some of y'all will know what I'm talking about. This one was, I believe, 13 inches and this is 13.2 so let's just do a quick um boxing and see what she gives so let me take her out i get excited about little stuff like this because it's just not only is it mad expensive but it's cute all right hold on how are and i got the black one y'all know i love me some black i love me some black so i got me a black one this laptop. It also has the old adapter. No, yeah, the old adapter. However, it has two um two of the newer uh what you call it little plug-in holes, whatever. I was scared because I have a lot of adapter pieces like my US USB um drive and uh what do you think? My USB hard drive and some other thing that I bought from Apple that helps me plug in like um a memory card. 
my um I can't think of none of the words. It's like I know all of the words, but when I get a camera, I forget everything. Y'all know how that go. But yeah, I have a lot of things that use the iPhone charger, basically is what I'm saying. And I was scared about that. But they have two holes for that. And they still got the old adapter. They still got the old charger. And it's bendable, so it's harder for it to get damaged because it bends. It's like a rope type of material, so that's good. Um, this is just basically what it looks like. I'm gonna have to get busy tonight, y'all. Like for real. Um, let me see. So this one looks like it's pretty long, pretty cool, nice regular charger. I don't gotta do an unboxing for the charger. Um, let me make sure they didn't give me no extra goodies on the bottom. Do this come out? Cause you know how Apple gets. Got a little pair of earphones or something. What do I get with her? Okay, and I gotta get a, um, a MacBook case too because oh, just look at how beautiful this is. Look at her. Oh, it automatically came. Hello. So it's like a, it kind of looked like a blue black, but it's like a matte black, I guess. But it's really a blue black. I don't really care, but it's cute. Like I said, it don't have the touch screen, but it's still cute. I'm going to have to set it up or whatnot. You still got to do, I'm pretty sure the finger thing, the fingerprint to unlock it. It has its subtle differences, but this is what she's giving right now. So I'm going to go set her, but I'm going to wait until later because I do, what time is it? 733, I need to go downstairs to the gym like right now. So I'm going to set this up when I come back. But I do want to update y'all. Yes, I finally got my laptop. Thank God. I feel like it took all day. But we did. Suddenly, there's no more PDC. I can do it. No, I'm gonna go like this. Look, let me show y'all how it's really done because I'm a skater. Let me show y'all. Follow me, Bree. Follow me, hoes. Don't follow me. <laughs> I'll be able to do so. Right in? Yeah. Fish spraying around it. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to figure out. So, I think <laughs> the real way that you actually grind that is you have to be able to jump. It's not a ripstick. I want to go down this part. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta do, I can kind of do it, but like, not really. If you drop, I know I'm a fool. Can you like jump? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can like, go, you will pick up extra speed. And I think that if you come in, like, I think that if you like go around the corner, I gotta run with you, bitch. I'm gonna go around the corner. I'm gonna go around the corner. Like, no, but don't move it out. Oh! The wall, like, 
dude, you called it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go in there. Bitch, you just. You were supposed to fall towards me, bitch. You go that way. You know what I'm saying? I keep fucking jumping all the way around. Look, watch this trick. Fuck this ball, air out, hit the inside. The real way to do the turnouts is to do it is front side or back side. What's up, dude? You saw it, you get more friction. I'm about to do a trick towards the side. Oh, no, ma'am. Have you ever watched? Uh, that was my trick, bro. <laughs> this show is over. You're filming five million followers on YouTube. Are going to do this? Oh. I do got five million, right? <laughs> Wait, Brink just made her fourth million, right? Yenzy yeah, got yeah, my plaque my, yesterday. I'm on my tenth. Shout out to Isaiah and Breeze, three to ten mil. Yeah, just the pressure going down. <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> Farris, you don't even get nowhere for real. I know I could go. All right, let me show you what I can do. She's like, I could ride that for so many cars. That's your ass. Tyrus, come on this side with me. All right. Wait, which side? You don't come down this way. Wait, on this side or this side? Baby, I think you need to be a little over there. Yeah. No, I think we need to be on this side. Not the beginner friendly. Bitch, pull to what you this is the right All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> 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 not just still going. <laughs> hey. I'm not going to lie. Suddenly we're skateboard expositioning it. Oh. You going down? Don't yeah. scrape the back of your hands. That's gonna be ugly. <laughs> Plankton. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, that was that was good. I'm not going up. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly you're in a concussion. <laughs> not on the blue part. Yo. So I literally been editing all day. I posted a video on my channel of like um it's just basically the title is Pro productivity plus discipline equals growth so that was that's the overall like theme of the video and I basically just did like a daily vlog of obviously being productive but keeping myself busy and actually making um what's the word I'm looking for I can't find the word I'm looking for, but it was a nice vlog. It was a nice feel. It wasn't too long, but it was straight to the point. Um, and I feel like it was very relaxing, at least for me to watch. Like, the only part I don't really like is when I was talking. Some people like when you talk, some people don't. But I hate my voice, and I know everybody else who has to hear their voice or record something doesn't like their voice. I know y'all can relate, but I don't know. I was a little cringy. It was a little cringe. But, um, yes, y'all, that's what it's... 6:46 right now. I didn't eat nothing all day. Like I literally got up and just started working on it immediately. Granted, I I want to say I could have started working on it a little bit earlier, but whatever. Anyways, it's Wednesday. I got a few things done this week, not too much, but enough. And I still got more to do this week. I'm supposed to be going to what well, a Halloween party is next week. Um, one of my homegirls' parties is this weekend. I got an install to do that same day. And ooh, yeah, that was I didn't never mind. Yes, yeah, so I got an install to do. What else I got to do this week? Um, videos like I don't know, y'all. I'm just really working, so I ain't really have time to come and sit and talk to y'all, whatever the case may be. So I'm here now, chopping with my girls or whatever. Why? Okay, so I didn't put it in this vlog, but I just made some lemon pepper wings. Right? They came out good at everything. Right? And I want more chicken. Like, I love chicken. I can eat chicken all the time, every day, all week. Like, I don't have no problems with that. So, I'm about to take... When I come back home, I'm going to take out chicken to defrost and just make, like, a little fried chicken dinner. But I'm about to go get Popeye's because I didn't eat nothing all day. So, I don't want to wait for the chicken to defrost because I ain't take it out earlier. So, I'm just like, it's really never that serious to go get a quick meal of chicken just to eat chicken later to possibly eat chicken tomorrow. So, I'm just chickened out right now. But... 
y'all random thought and i thought of this <laughs> i thought of this a few minutes ago and i was like i know for a fact like i gotta just talk to y'all about this because whatever i want to say I, and it's not necessarily if i have to keep it a bug with y'all it's really not too for y'all and what i mean by that is i'm not saying it to have content but i'm saying this because i really felt this in my soul and i go through these things where it's just like sometimes i don't realize things so i don't you can't convince me of something until i actually have to go through it and feel it by myself like you know that i'm, I'm one of those type of people so i was just i was getting in my car and I was just thinking, like, oh, my God, it makes me so emotional just thinking about it. Like, I'm not about to say in crowd, but I don't know. It just makes me emotional. I was just thinking, like, wow, like, I'm so proud of myself. And I don't feel like I say that enough because I'm always critiquing myself. And, of course, people who, of course, don't have as much as me look at me and be like, what are you talking about? Like, you're blessed. You have your own two-bedroom apartment. Like, you have a luxury vehicle. You have this, that, and the third. How could you not be, like, not grateful because I've never been ungrateful. But how could you not, how could that not motivate you? But you got to also understand that when you're in a place, all you're thinking about is doing better. So sometimes you don't even get to live in a moment and appreciate what you have at the moment. And that's how I feel like I look at some people too, like, wow, like some people complain about their lives and I'm like, but you have all of this. So you got all this money and all this stuff. And it's just like, it don't matter how much money you got. It don't matter what car you got. It don't matter what apartment you got, house. It don't matter about none of that. It don't matter who you know. If you if you just not right with yourself, you just not right. Like it's that's just it. Like you just not right. And I feel like I just haven't been right with myself. It's too, it been too many obstacles that I've been dealing with. It been too much reoccurring situations in my life that I feel like has been holding me and my mental back. It's been so many things that I feel like I've been going through that just kind of clouded or crowded my better judgment, whichever word it is. And y'all it been getting to me like it been getting to me real bad like i haven't been motivated in so long and just as of recently as i was showing y'all yesterday i've been in a gym and i told myself realistically speaking because i'm knowing i have my days and i'm not gonna sit here and try to um act like that's not a thing or that's not a possibility however i'm not gonna accept that either so i told myself if i'm ever feeling down or um, I accidentally don't wake up early and I just feel like I don't want to get out of bed. I'm just going to go to the gym. And then it's like, once I go to the gym, I'm already up active, my body pumping. How could I not get work done after that? How can I not get work done after that? Like, there's literally no reason for me not to get no work done after that. It's one thing if you're just in your bed and you just can't get out the bed because you're just so relaxed and whatever the case may be. But once you're already up and pumped and doing this, that, and the third, how could you not get work done? You know? So I just found out my little own quick little regimen and i remember i had asked p i had asked y'all on my instagram i was like what time of the day do y'all prefer to work out some people said early morning some people said midday some people said night and I tr obviously i tried working out yesterday night it's just I, I, mm -mm. like i don't know it's just i don't know i need exercising not only because i'm supposed to be exercising like it's good for me but it helps me start my day too so i can't do the midday and the night time no get up bright early get it done and keep it pushing like that's really my only option so yes y'all i just i was walking past my car and i was like this is my car like i have a range rover this is my car and mind you i have to trade in my car next year so wait it's yeah next year and i want a better car than this and one thing about me if you've been watching me for a while you knew my first car was a hyundai tucson and i loved my car that was my first car so you know your first car always has holds a special place in your heart because you like yo you got me from a to b and you look good like the audacity you were like that's how i was feeling so I got I had a Hyundai and I didn't even think when I was thinking to get my new car I was looking at Nissans I was looking at um what else I was looking at I was looking at Nissans I was looking at damn it was so long ago I forgot and it's nothing wrong with these cars but I'm saying at the time you know I wasn't making as much money as I'd be making nowadays so I didn't even think to look at these type of cars so I was choosing the nicest Nissans what other car oh my god Hondas I was looking at the Honda I think it was hybrid or something like that I was looking at the newest Nissans which is 
fire. My main thing was I wanted a sunroof because I did not have a sunroof in my Hyundai. So um, once I saw the sunroof, I wanted a sunroof and I wanted a digital screen. So once I did that and then my father just kind of nudged me a little bit like let's just go see the other cars and then miraculously I just started making more money and I'm like that's crazy how I didn't even think I'll be able to upgrade and I was uh, able to upgrade and I think that's I love that for me so with that being said it's just I'm gonna up it next time too and apartment wise I want to up it with my apartment too um my apartment is a little bit tricky because I love my apartment, but I'm also thinking about moving once my lease is up. But I just, I don't know how I feel about that yet because I have this thing where I'm just kind of tired of bouncing around. Y'all know I lived in New York all my life and then um, I moved from the city to Long Island, which was too much. Like I hated it. And then um, I moved to Miami, then I moved back to New York, then I moved to Atlanta. And then it's like now I'm thinking about moving to another state and it's just like, Girl, figure it out. Like, get it together. Figure it out. So, that's just kind of where I'm at with it. But, y'all, I don't know. I'm just feeling very pumped every time I think I'm down. Because I, you just, and this is so random too, but it's like you never know what nobody's going through. And I just be thinking about all the times when it's like, sometimes I think y'all would know I'm going through some things, but y'all would never even imagine the things that I really be going through. Like, you wouldn't even be able to be like, I would have you if y'all knew you you would literally say like I would have never thought you was going through that like or that happened or whatever the case may be and it's like that's because I don't wear it like and I refuse to wear it like you are not an accessory girl like I'm not wearing you I'm not wearing you like I'm not doing that and it's like I'm not a miserable person anyway like I'm not sad all the time and don't get me wrong sometimes I do be thinking I'm depressed but I don't want to self like just basically self-diagnose myself like if I didn't go to the doctor and say I was depressed and they said I was depressed then I'm not gonna say it but it's just like a feeling where you just kind of like look I'm not right I wasn't right yesterday I wasn't right last week nor last month what's going on because this is like a prolonged sad period so it's just one of those things but I take those type of things very serious that's why I don't even like you know I don't really like playing like that but y'all I don't care what I'm feeling the work has to get done and I refuse. I know some days I'm going to have my days. But when the days I can control, which I will try my best to control it regardless, I'm going to do what needs to be done. And I've just been creating a lot of content. I've been putting out a lot of content. It's been making me so happy. And I haven't been happy about putting out content in so long. Because all I do is hair videos. And I don't even edit the hair videos, really. Like, I, I edit the clips, but I don't put my... Y'all know what I'm talking Like, I'm not... I don't put my all into editing. So... It's just like, it's not fun for me. It's actually very boring. Why do I want Starbucks right now? Should I go by my house? I want Starbucks. I think I'm going to get some Starbucks. Um, yeah, like I just, it's just, I, I lost my love for it a while ago, but I realized I just lost my love for editing hair videos. I didn't lose my love for editing period and my editing i've been doing lately has just been making me so happy because it's just like to see me improving and getting new software and learning how to work it and beating all odds that's like coming against me it's just like girl you got this please like you're good so that's what it's giving for right now and um yeah that's pretty much it but where is from this better say fashion over my Halloween costume. I'm thinking about trying it on for y'all, but I don't want y'all in my business yet. I want y'all to be surprised, but what day is Halloween? If the first... So, Halloween is next Monday. So, I actually can show y'all because... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show my costume on Tuesday, so I have time, and I might post the vlog on Sunday or Monday. So I got time. I got time. I'm gonna be good. So I'm gonna try on my um, Halloween costume for y'all when I get back in the house. And um, I also got a hair video to do when I get in the house. Um, I have to promote this wig, which I'm probably gonna take back off because um, I don't really want to wear super curly hair at the moment. Um, plus, I have I've been I've prolonged my schedule for the week because I was really supposed to have on the wig now. And had done it yesterday or the day before and I didn't so yeah I gotta kind of keep switching out that's that's what she's giving so anyways y'all I'm about to give me some pop-ups 
go back to the house, try on my costume and see how she looks. Hopefully everything fits right and my boobs fit because that's what I really be worried about, my boobs spilling out. I hate that. So hopefully everything goes good, which it should. And um, cook me a little something, something for the night. So um, we'll see. Let's, let's, I'm going to come back when it's time to put the costume. All right, y'all. So I got the costume. I'm about to put it on. I literally just got back and I was that I'm open. I'm like, all oh, my packages now. Hmm. Let's see what she's giving. Oh, because what was that? What was that? Hold on. I was going to put the cute little hat piece on, but my hair is going to be body, y'all. I was so scared to order the size, but the size is literally perfect. Like, if I would have sized down anymore, I don't think... My boobs don't fit now, but it probably really would have never fit then. It probably would have been way more snatched if I got the smaller size, but you know, I'm not no extra small, so I wasn't even about to play like that. So I got a... What size did I get? I got a small medium. And the girls who knew me for years knew I was only an extra small for very long, so... I'm thinking in Ari right now. I don't know what the... I don't know what that does. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna eat this. Look, oh, look at my wings. I don't like how it be like dabbing at the butt right here. But who cares? Who cares? Like, I care, but do I really care? Like, oh. <laughs> So with that being said, in other words, my um, since I'm such an innocent angel, I don't know what that was about. That wasn't me. Like I'm an angel. I don't do stuff like that. But yes, yeah, she's nice. She works. She's cute. Only thing is, this is so much glitter everywhere. And don't get me wrong, I like glitter. But I'm not. I go out the age where I like glitter everywhere. So it's all over my counter. Mm, don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But the outfit fits which is what I was scared of the most. I'm gonna give me some tights to go up under this because they're not gonna be looking at my school, okay? And I'm gonna give me some nice boots and I'm gonna be scrubbing all the grounds. All the grounds is getting scrubbed. All of the grounds is getting scrubbed. So, my floor, oh my God, it's glitter all over the floor. And then I don't know how I'm gonna last in a party with these wings on. Cause, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, yeah, because you know how the girls get, especially with looking in the system, so yeah. Anyways, I gotta get some accessories, probably get some shades. I'm gonna do me a nice side part. I'm gonna, I could tell y'all because y'all gonna see that day anyway, remember that, right? So I'm gonna get some of the little silver pieces, I'm gonna put it in the front. I already got a side part wig um, that I wore already, so all I gotta do is like restyle and rewash and stuff. And it's already layered, body, like the body, oh, it's gonna give, y'all. Like, I'm gonna try to find a video or a picture of me wearing a wig so y'all can, like, see for yourself. With this look, with the shades, with the boots, and this takes a nice precious, bring out the light. Oh, my God, we're gonna go crazy. So, yeah, I'm excited, but I gotta take her off. Um, I still got mad work to do, but I just want to see how it fit in. Yes, y'all, it fits. I'm excited. Go, Lilo. Go, Lilo. Go, Lilo. turn down the lights a little bit as y'all can see my hair got so big well i didn't say it like in the vlog but i said it in the video i was um just filming like i hate wearing like super curly hair sometimes because it gets really really big and it's like unmanageable unmanageable sometimes but i'm eating her because y'all remember how she looked before i went to the gym and I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I was in here sweating. Like, I had my shirt up for hours at this point. Like, I was in here sweating, but it don't even matter because she looks so good. Like, I laid these baby hairs, and it's just so pretty. Like, 
I done made two TikToks on a humble and everything. Like, shout out to Slope here for sending me this wig. And I will put their information down below in the description box. And look at these curls. And this is just me talking. Like, look at these curls. And y'all know I don't really do, like, shorter curly wigs. Because I like them when it gets very long. Especially when it's really long. Don't get me wrong. When it dries, it do be, like, bigger and probably even worse. But I do like the wet hair look when the hair is curly and long. But I'm actually feeling this. Especially with the flip over method. That's probably the only exception because if you go back on my channel and look at every flip over method I did, most of them is with hair that was about this short anyway, like wavy or curly or something. It was like this. That's why I was like, let me just do a flip over and get to it. But this hair is very, very pretty as she should be. And yeah, she held up for the gym as well. And I didn't get no tangles or anything yet. Y'all, I feel like a porn star sitting on his couch right now. I'm about to get interviewed. Like, yes, yeah, so what do you do for a living? <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Um, I think I might just uh, jump up and dye my client's wig. Just so I could get that out the way. And I'll probably pluck it tonight or tomorrow or something. Because it's still very early. But I don't want to get too comfortable and don't get nothing done. Which I still have stuff to do. But I just want stuff, you know make my months but i wanted to show you something so um if you don't know i'm having a wake sale another refurbished wake sale because i know y'all love the wake sales but i was just trying to wait for my wigs to accumulate first i don't want to just keep selling y'all wigs with like a short amount and then it's like they be going like they get sold out so they be going so i'm like let me just accumulate some wigs or whatever but a lot of people be asking me on social media like how do i edit um my little promo videos my reels my tiktoks my stuff like that so i'm about to show you i'm i'm only showing y'all because like obviously if you're watching this you fuck with me and i appreciate you so i'm gonna put you on but a lot of other people be nosy and they won't tell you something if you ask so i'm not doing it even though it's right there in your face. You just don't know. But so what I do is I'm thinking should I screen share or should I just show you? I'm going to screen share and put it right here. So let me move over. There I go. So basically you're going to download the Mojo app. And um, I forgot how I found out. How did I find out about I don't know. It's not really important. But I found the Mojo app. And when I tell y'all this has helped me so much like. This app makes everything so much easier. Like, they need to sponsor me, for real. Like, I use their app for everything. So, anyways, basically, I already started a project. I just didn't finish it. So, I'm going to click it here. And, um, actually, let me go back for a second. So, a lot of y'all be asking me, how do I do this type of look? And I go in the Mojo app. And you can edit it. You can edit the background. You can edit the text. Let me see, you could change the font, you could change the style of the font, they got all these different options. You could just sit there, play with it, it's mad cool, like, very helpful, takes away a lot of time from, especially for the people who are not that creative, and you just can't think of certain things, that's like, obviously right there, it makes it so much easier for you, because you're like, oh yeah, that does make sense. Anyway, so... We're going to go to this one. I was creating a flyer for my wig sale. And usually I just use pictures on a mannequin head. Because I don't want to keep reminding people that the wig was on my head. Even though everybody knows when I do my wig sales. I thoroughly wash the wigs. I restyle them. Everything. So it, it don't even give. I wore it besides the fact that the lace is cut. I don't wear and down my wigs. I don't do that. So basically I just have to. So I have a date right here. Um, I just have to get all the rest of my information. But um, I'm going to enter it in this box right here. And um, I'm going to finish it up. I just got to think about all the rules and stuff that I want to add first. And then um, I'm going to show y'all the final product. So let me figure it out. Because I'm going to take too long while it's on camera. So let me just figure it out and then show y'all what I did after. All right, y'all. So I wound up creating, I finished that flyer and then I wound up doing a new flyer for my subscribers because I did, um, Instagram told me I was eligible to have subscribers, but at first I was like, I'm not going to just have people subscribe to me for no ass reason just because like it's a quick little profit, but I didn't want to use it because it's like, I don't know. I always just felt like I could charge for my talent and for my knowledge and for a lot of things that I can show y'all, but I don't be feeling like I 
have that much people that's interested so it just be a little weird sometimes and i don't feel like i'm consistent with one thing sometimes so i don't be wanting people to be confused but i'm like you know what let's start off with the little things i could show y'all equipment and of course y'all my youtube subscribers but i'm talking about instagram subscribers um i could show y'all my youtube equipment my editing software for my computer editing videos on my computer or my phone e-flyers what else I be doing? Hair tips, certain hair things that I don't show on camera because I don't put energy into them videos anyway. But girl, I know so much, it's not even funny. So I'm gonna have fun with this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. And don't get me wrong, yes, it's fun, it's a nice way to earn money, whatever the case may be. Yes, that's cool. But y'all, I know so much and I just didn't know how to tell it because it's like I'm in a weird place, right? Hear me out. I'm not a hairstylist, but I know how to do hair. Um I'm not, I guess you could say fully established. I don't even fully, don't get me wrong, I do call myself an influencer or whatever case may be. But I still don't feel like I'm fully there yet. So it's like I know so much, but I want to earn it for myself. Like, all right, if I'm going to be calling myself this, like, I need to work on that. Like, I got to make sure I work up to that name. So it's like I just be knowing so much, but I feel like I say too much. Not too much. I say a lot and do a lot for free. And not that there's really a problem, but then there'll be a lot of people who will take your same tips and tricks or whatever the case may be and make it their own and try to profit off of it. And don't get me wrong, yes, everybody needs to eat. Everybody, yes, yes, that's cool. Blah, blah, blah. I don't hear it. We all get annoyed when we do something or you know somebody learned something from you, but they're not going to tell you. Like, they envy you a little bit or they see, like, competition or whatever the case may be. So they're not really going to, like tell you for real like oh yeah thanks girl for helping like it don't be none of that and i know me i don't give somebody help me with something i'm like oh yes i'm gonna try this but that's just me so for the girls who really want to know you're gonna have to pay for it period respectfully so let me just show y'all real quick let me just show y'all real quick okay so let's start the screen recording again let me delete this message because somebody sent me some weird shit talking about some I can't even say it on YouTube, but y'all gotta chill with y'all messages. All right, um, okay, so let me screen record. Let's go to the Mojo app, honey. Okay, so this is, let me just show y'all the first flyer first. So this is how I did the first flyer. And then I'm gonna show y'all um, how I put everything together on my Instagram. So this is what it looks like. I just added my own little touches. I didn't wanna like overcrowd it with information. Let's get straight to the point. Boom, 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 and then you go from there. And um, this was just specifically for my subscribers. And I'll let y'all know, you know, what y'all going to be getting, etc. And then I left a little bit of space at the bottom so I can add the subscribe um, sticker on Instagram. So it's easy for people to subscribe. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And don't ask me how I got this like colorway. I don't know. But it's dope. Like I really, really like it. And I love like a nice aesthetic, especially the background. With my laptop and my candle, which I knew what I was doing, but I had to go on Instagram first, actually. So let me let me show y'all what, what I did first. So hopefully nothing pop up, y'all. Nothing crazy. Hold on. All right, go to the Instagram. All right, boom. So I basically just grabbed one of my pictures and I did the. Don't pay attention to none of this going on, but I did the whole put a period and then like maximize it. So I did one of these. And then I just made it, um, my finger all messed up. Hold on, y'all. So, I hate when that happens. Oh, my God, that's so annoying. All right. So, put that there. And then um, you just maximize it, whatever, make the period disappear. That's what I had did. And then um, I saved that. I put it over that picture, and then I saved it. And then I went back to the Mojo app, and then I put the picture there, and then I added my words, my text, etc. So it was really easy. It was really cool, straight to the point. You know, I have spent hours doing it. Um, another good place to find, like, e-flyer templates is um, templates, templates. Um, Etsy. I know I told you that before, but for the girls who don't know, or if you didn't hear me say, go on Etsy and type in um, hair company hair flyers or makeup cosmetics hair fly they have so many templates that you can buy that literally all you have to do is the same thing like into the information saves you so much time like i'm the girl i love the girls who start from scratch y'all are the bomb but there's a lot of girls who don't want to do the extra work but want the same result and sometimes y'all turn around time be a lot and you need it now so for the girls who need it now 
got a little bit of of it just go and i'm um, going etsy and get that or use the mojo app and it's very 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 like it's worth it so yeah y'all other than that um i gotta save these two screen recordings too so i don't lose them because i know by the time i edit this i want to make sure y'all not cursing y'all like girl you ain't even enter no nah, i'm not gonna do that to y'all but Huh, make sure I put those both in. Other than that, um, I'm about to go down this wig real quick. It's 3 o'clock. We get off at 5 and we're all supposed to be linking. So, I'm going to just, um, oh, I could start there. But should I just, should I do a video and then tell them, the subscribers? Or should I just show y'all? Or should I do both? But then that kind of defeats the purpose. Y'all gotta go subscribe. See? You see what I did there? Y'all gotta go subscribe. But I'm about to go down this 34 inch wig um in less than an hour and um you may just think i'm using the watercolor method but don't act like you know everything because you don't because that's not all it is that's all i'm saying let me go oh my hair is so big it's blending in with the seats girl can you even see the do we on our way to get brie um, we gotta find like them little accessories. I was debating if I wanted to wear fishnet stockings with my costume or like them shiny like pantyhose, which either or it doesn't matter as long as I can shake some. So that's what I'm pretty worried about. But we gotta go to Macy's. I'm not going to lie. Mm, mm, we might go somewhere by her because it's a lot of stores by me, but it's a mall by her. So it's just like. I'm trying to play this smart, so maybe we might go check there first and then go see like how everything else goes. But yeah, y'all, that's what she's giving today. She's very casual, casual today, and I'm actually getting a lot done. So, oh my god, I gotta put a bandaid on my finger because my nail, my whole nail came off. Ugh, that just aggravated me. Um, so I did the um, I dyed the client's wig for tomorrow. And um, I did the half watercolor method when I do jet black. So when I do jet black, um, I do do the watercolor method because it really, really works. Like it gets the hair really, really black. But when it comes to the lace, I don't watercolor the lace. Even though I know there's a safe way to do it, I've done it before. When you dip your whole wig in a jet black, and like you know, I've done a whole video on that, like 2020, I believe, and it worked. But I don't play with clients like units. I'm not about to be testing the odds and then if I mess it up, then it follow me. I don't got time for that. So I did the top. I dyed the top, hand dyed it, which didn't take too long. It was a 13 by 2 anyway, so I didn't have that much hair to dye regardless. And then on top of that, I was dying a 1B wig, jet black. So, you know, all you got to do is just really, like, let it sit in the hair and you're good. So that's pretty much what's going on with that. <clears throat> Ooh, the steering wheel heater don't play. Hold on, I'm starting to sweat now. It was cold when I first got in here, but it's not cold outside. But it was cold in the car. But now it's hot again. Anyways, yeah. Um, we just about to go do that. And then, I don't even know what the rest of my night is looking like. I know I gotta edit the video I just did this morning. And I'll probably prep the girl's wig. And that might be it. Depending on what time I can get back, hopefully I'm only out for about two hours, so I guess we just want to see, like, back. down but look at how big my hair has gotten throughout the day i told y'all the hair gets so big i didn't even know my hair was this big i'm about to wrap her up but y'all i'm back home i got all this stuff i'm about to take out the box on my little extra accessories and stuff like that y'all i'm tired 
we had a long day today. But yeah, that's just how that go. But I'm tired. Yeah, once again, I'm going to sleep. show y'all my outfit real quick the rest of the videos is gonna be everything we take from the phone so hopefully that gets everything quick little outfit check y'all this is the outfit where i got this from joy she zara steve madden with my little bag over there period i got the little shades or whatever now can't put them on right now because i got my makeup on but i will soon and yeah she's always gonna get giving body per usual it's giving body like, okay yeah Loving the skirt, mm -hmm. period. The rest they will get at the club. All right, y'all. We're gonna see y'all at the club. I tell them I'm on, so break it up, break it down, bag it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, bag 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 it up, I made love to a stripper, stripper. First I had to tip her for you. Twenty thousand ones. She said I'm that nigga. I said I'm that nigga, bitch. I already know. I come with bad weather. They say I'm a storm. VVS is in my charm. That's a Rockefeller chain. I was sending briefs to Harlem back when Jay was still with Dame. I'm in for leave child. I gotta protect her own. Got a stripper with me. She picked up to check her own. She gon' fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. She don't need makeup.
I'm a little drunk. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Y'all, my feet. Oh, my God. My feet were killing me so bad. Like, look at my feet. You probably can't even tell what was going on. My feet look like they just developed corns and onions. I don't like that. But I got some lemon pepper wings, so I'm happy about that. And I'm about to go sleep. I'm not going to sing y'all a song this time, but I am going to sleep. I'm so desirous. I'm... Yeah.